What's up YouTube, my name's Kenneth. Today, I'm gonna to show you a solve I did on the Mixup Plus. I thought I'd make another video on the Mixup Plus because it's a fun puzzle. Uh, I found it to be a ton of fun. I did learn how to solve it all by myself, came up with my own method, um, and then I went around looking at what other people did, and I found uh, Pete the Geek's awesome tutorial, and his method actually was a little bit more, um, well, it was a little bit more efficient than my method. So now I'm using parts of his method and parts of my method, and so I'm using kind of a hybrid method between the two of ours. So anyway, first thing to do uh, is I'm, I'm solving the centers first, and I didn't originally do it that way. This is uh, kind of Pete the Geek's method. Um, and so first you do the centers. Um, before, what I used to do is I used to start, uh, I would do, go right into reduction. I'd reduce it to a three by three, so I'd start um, pairing or it's not really pairing up edges but I would make edge trios with the main edge piece and the two smaller edge piece to give me one full Rubik's Cube edge piece that's how I started um, but now I'm using uh, this hybrid method between Pete the Geek's method and my method so now I'm doing uh, centers first and then solve it like a Rubik's Cube uh, and I'm doing that right now half the time I uh, will recognize a uh, parody right uh, about now when the Rubik's Cube is solved. And here I'm happy that there is no parity. Uh, to fix the parity, I figured that out myself and if I had the parity I would have fixed it right now. But no parity, so let's move forward. Now what I'm doing is I'm solving these um, edge pieces that are twisted uh, 90 degrees off. Um, and that's actually not that difficult. I'm just using um, super cube moves. Uh, like you would solve a pitcher cube, but I'm using that to solve these uh, these edges because the edges act like centers you can twist them like centers which is very useful uh, if you don't know how to solve a pitcher cube definitely learn how to do a pitcher cube because those algorithms are useful uh, in so many times um, so anyway now I, what I'm doing is I'm counting how many edges are turned 180 degrees and there should be uh, it should be divisible by two otherwise you'll have another parity problem so I counted them and now I know which way to turn this last edge so that edge is now turned. Now what you got to do is you got to solve these little uh, inner edge pieces to make them all flat. Now I found an algorithm that will cycle three of these inner edge pieces for my, my method that I had come up with. I don't really use that anymore. But with some setup moves that, that uh, algorithm that cycles three of those inner edge pieces can be used to flatten two of those edge pieces at a time. So I get two that are that need to be flattened. I put them where they need to belong and I do this algorithm I came up with and it will flatten those um, edge pieces. I gotta say I did a horrible job filming this. You can see it's off out of the frame. Uh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> So I think this is the last one, is it? Uh, nope, nope, one more. You can see my algorithm I came up with to do this is kind of long, uh, and so this step takes me a little bit to do. But once that's done, uh, now we're going to, what I found, what I really liked about Pete the Geek's method, and it's uh, the way to, he um, matches up, he finally reduces it to a three by three, and how he matches these uh, inner edges uh, and I found it to be so simple and awesome uh, I wish I would have thought of it um, so I use that now it's much faster than my method so what I'm doing is I'm switching two inner edge pieces at a time and I'm not hurting much of the cube I'm only hurting two centers uh, and so as long as I keep uh, the centers in the same place and I keep mixing those two centers up and then uh, solving them and then mixing them and then solving them I end up uh, just solving all these edge pieces and reducing it to a 3x3 three three. so I'm using the uh, front right edge uh, and also the back left edge those two edges are um, the ones that I'm using that I'm switching the inner edges off of and it's really fun this is a, a fun part of this solve and before you know it, uh, the whole thing is done. 
Now you can see here, everything's all the edges are done, but you have a weird case where there's two centers that need to switch. That's also very easy to deal with, and I just dealt with that. So now I've reduced it to a three by three. So all you gotta do is solve it like a three by three, and Wit Eden uh, makes up plus turns pretty well. Because it turns so well, um, it don't, doesn't take that much longer for me to solve the mix up plus like a Rubik's Cube than it would normally take me to solve a Rubik's Cube. Uh, so these days I'm solving Rubik's Cubes in the upper 20 seconds. Uh, and it probably takes me 30 seconds to solve the mix up as a 3x3. Three three. So, um, yeah, it turns pretty well. I hope you enjoyed that solve. I do come out with new videos every other weekend, so be sure to be subscribed so you know when the next video comes out. Alright guys, have a great day.